almost the perfect race was in the semi-finals 100 freestyle in Sydney. Um, I was um, um, my two opponents in 100 freestyle. Of course, I had to race in 200 freestyle. Ian Thorpe, great swimmer, but in 100 freestyle, I had to face uh, Alexander Popov and Michael Klim, and they were trained by um, Gennady Turetsky. And Gennady Turetsky told me that um, Alexander Popov was near perfect and his world record was 48.21 and I knew I had to break that world record to uh, become Olympic champion to win the gold and I knew um, that it was possible to swim under 48 seconds in that semi-final in Sydney that was the first time I went under 48 seconds and in Australia people uh, have a lot of um, um, they know everything about uh, swimming so when I touched the wall and I looked at the scoreboard, it was 47, 80, 84, and the people went, whoa. And that was uh, something uh, uh, so fantastic to, uh, to experience, but still, it was in the semi-final. There was no gold, uh, the gold medal, so I still uh, I had to swim the final, and uh, I also won that final. But that semi-final, that was near, near perfect. You got to swim in probably the golden era of men swimming over the last decade, you got to swim against the likes of Ian Thorpe and Michael Phelps. Mm. What was different about racing both components, uh, opponents? Um, unfortunately, um, there was only one race. I could race them uh, both in, in, in one race, and it was the final in, in 200 uh, freestyle in Athens. And um, they're different swimmers, but they're they're. Um, um, yeah, like you said, it, w it was very nice to be in that period of time to race the, the, those uh, those guys because they really uh, brought the, the um, uh, our sport to another level. And um, and in Athens, in 200 freestyle, I was facing those two. I was uh, between the two of them, and uh, Ian got uh, uh, won the gold. I got the silver, and Phelps got uh, got the bronze medal. So after many, many years, I think the picture of that podium was, uh, for me, it was very, very nice uh, and very, very special. And um, when I was in, in London, I was retired, but I did some, uh, so, uh, some work for Eurosport in, um, and I was uh, close to the pool and watching Michael Phelps winning another gold medal and, 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 and winning three times in a row. Uh, that was something remarkable, something um, uh, great to, to, uh, to experience, to, to be a part of that. And um, Because I was there um, and I tried to win it the 100 freestyle three times in a row, but also Grant Hackett tried to win it the 1500 freestyle uh, three times in a row. And all the, uh, the great swimmers, even Ian Thorpe won the 400 freestyle twice, but not three times in a row. And Michael Phelps did it winning three times in a row and that was something fantastic and it made me very proud that I, I was uh, a couple of years before that and, and race, race that, that the legend in, in, in swimming.